Without a vision, the people perish. That is scripture. This is why it's so important that we always have a vision. Going into 2023, you know, we talked about that really back 2022 September, we were preparing for 2023. When Rosh Hashanah comes, that's when God's people, we get on it and we write the vision down and we start preparing the path and checking in with God to see what it is that he has on the agenda, right? How many of you know heaven's agenda is so important? Not my will, but your will, Father, because our meat and bread has to be to do the Father's will. So I'm here just to check in on you. Guys, it's July. July, where are you in your vision? You wrote it down, you made it plain, but have you checked in? Because you might just be surprised what the Lord has done. And it's a perfect time during July to give God the glory and give him the thanksgiving and the gratitude for what he's already shown you that he's doing and has done. Because how many of you know, he's already been checking boxes off of the list. I was talking to my son the other day and I said, you know, it's checkpoint time. We've got to check in on the vision. Is there anything that stands out? And he says, you know what, mom, one thing stands out. I said that I was going to be pitching this number and I have excelled that. So I really need to go back in. I need to um, clarify and add to my vision, right? Because God has already gone above and beyond what I, I, I envisioned, right? What I wrote down. And I thought that was wonderful. I said, well, let's give God praise right now, right? This is an opportunity. And as I was looking um, at my vision for 2023, I was just going through it. I'm like, God is so faithful because so many of the prayers, so much of the vision, he already answered. So I could go in and I could add to the vision. I could definitely, you know, um, bulk it up a little bit and ask the Lord what else it is that he wants me to add to the vision, right? Because we want to make sure we include God because he's the one that's going to direct our steps. Steps. He's the one that gives us the capability to dream big. Do you know that so often people limit their dreams, they limit their visions to the natural, what they think they can attain in their own strength? And those aren't dreams. You need to have the ability to think and create like God. So you have to ask him to renew your mind and, and also give you childlike faith to be able to believe, to dream big, right? So one of the things I want to get back to is Vision Mondays, Motivation Mondays, because as we are entering, man, the latter part of the year, we're halfway there, right? I really want to motivate and inspire God's people to hold strong to the vision and to really work hard these next six months to just like go hard, right? We're, what is it? Uh, play big or go home. I mean, we're going to really, you know, put into work because faith without works is dead. And too many people, they just expect God to do all the work. Okay, this is what I'm expecting. I wrote down the vision and you don't do anything. You got yourself a New Year's resolution. That's what the people of the world do. <laughs> but you've got to be willing to trust God, put in the work and the faith that it takes to see those dreams come to fruition. So definitely, Mondays, we're going to start really um, honing in on Motivation Mondays, motivation um, to keep you driving towards the vision that God has placed in your heart. So that's all that I have for you all. I hope that y'all are having a beautiful Sunday. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and like. This is a channel that is devoted to growing in Christ, to learning the scriptures, teaching the word of God, prophesying blessings, prophesying life over God's people, and walking in positivity, walking in the light. And so I hope that you will decide to be a part of this journey. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.